about us, about things that are supposed to keep us safe. I'm not here to tell half-truths. I am not safe. The people that look like me are not safe. And the fact that we can't say it, the fact that I have to come up here again, recognizing all of this power and privilege, and tell you that I deserve to be safe in a place where y'all are paid by the community you represent. But I want to know, if y'all don't look like me, why aren't you doing a better job of representing me? That's what I need to know. And at the end of the day, no answer other than, you're right, I hear your pain and it's valid, is reasonable. But the reality of white supremacy is that it doesn't ever tell us that we're right, we're valid, and that we deserve to be safe. And that mixed with privilege equals murder. And we know that's real because of the empirical evidence. Now again, I'll tell you, like I tell people every single day, I don't care who you are, but if you don't care about me, tell me so that I know, so that you don't kill me while I'm walking away. Tell me that my life matters so that the people I go to throughout the day, I can convey that. That our city, that our local government and our police force is doing th are doing things to help us. And this is what they're doing. But I'll tell you that there is no piece of paper that doesn't involve black folk, black and brown, queer and trans folk, that is going to keep me safe because of the lack of depth that was in that mug and you know it. I am here and I've been here. We are here and we've been here. And it's not okay. It's not okay when y'all don't show up to things that involve black people. It's not okay when you don't listen to us when we say we need you. It's not okay to show up and be compassionate bigots. It's not okay because we deserve more. If I was a white, straight man, y'all would listen to me way more and way sooner. And we know that. But I'm not, and I'm scary, and I got brains, and I got muscles. So y'all are more likely to call the police on me than to listen to me. I'm dying. Do you hear me say I'm dying? I get death threats. I'm dying. We're dying. But we can't say black lives matter. The city commission should be the first people to say that since we value diversity and justice, this is why we're releasing statements that say black lives matter. And we'll do it every day. Because every hashtag that I see kills me more and it gets closer to Lawrence. But let's not get it twisted. It's always been here. We got to talk about Tiger Dowdell, right? Let's talk about some real history. This is not a game to me, and this is not an educational session. Y'all are the city commission, you are the police chief, and I shouldn't be the one teaching y'all. I shouldn't be the one teaching y'all about marginalization or oppression throughout all the intersections. Just because it wasn't taught in the school that we grew up in doesn't mean that we should never learn about it. I'm going to tell Y'all, every time that I see you, that I am willing to do anything to keep people safe. About anything. For any y'all or anybody I care about. But the fact that I have to come up here and say, please don't kill me. Please stop perpetuating systems of white supremacy and racism and things that snuff us out and make us leave this community. It's unacceptable, it's hurtful, and it's very, very real. And so in, until y'all can make statements, say that racism, systemic racism and white supremacy lives here, and it's in the police department, and it's in the city commission, it's everywhere because y'all can't run from racism. That's the way the society is built on the backs of people. If we can't say things like indigenous populations matter, standing with Standing Rock, we haven't heard anything about that. The pipeline, y'all, this is why intersectionality matters and this is why representation has to happen. I'm done with it. No more half-truths. Talk about real things. Don't show us graphs that don't have any data. Don't show me that stuff. That don't save me. Radical prioritization says we should talk about people first. Data don't save my life. Because y'all don't even want to check the data on racial profile. We need to be more invested. And we need it now. 
And we are not going anywhere. Black Lives Matter. Thank you, Stephen.